All right, so what we're going to be doing is making some French baguettes. I want to show you what the ingredients are first. Uh, three cups of all-purpose flour. We've got a teaspoon of salt and four grams of yeast and about just about 400 milliliters of uh, tepid water. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the salt and put it into the flour. Just give it a little mix. Get that all mixed up nicely. So it's nice and even. At the same time, we're going to grab the yeast. Let's get the yeast started in the water itself. Just give it a nice little mix here. We'll give it a few minutes. And we will be mixing the water thereafter into the flour. Okay, so this has been sitting here for about two or three minutes. And now we're going to mix it into the flour. Just pour it in. And you're essentially just stirring it until it turns into a sticky ball. Looks kind of funny now, but it'll come together. Give it a minute. Okay, and you want the dough to look like this when it's done. And now all we want to do is now let it rise, let it proof for the next 11, 12 hours. And that's going to be overnight in a room temperature place. I'm just going to stick it in the oven, close the oven, and then we will reconvene in about 12 hours in the morning. See you then. All right, so we've... Uh made the dough rise for about 12 to 13 hours. It's the next morning. What we want to do is just put a little flour on the, uh, the working marble here, and we're just gonna just plop it down onto the flour. And now we're going to work the dough. I wanna put some more flour on it. sticky but that's fine just work a little bit of flour all right so what we're going to do now is just collect it all with the scraper and work it so it's manageable again still flour
enough to make three baguettes. First, so what we're going to do now is shape them into the shape of a baguette. So what we want to do is pull them over. So, you just pick it up, place it gently here, and kind of shape it still, get it shaped nicely, and this is going to do a final proof. Alright, so I've rolled out the other two uh, baguettes, and it's going to look like this. Again, you put it onto uh, a tray with some parchment paper, a little bit of cornmeal underneath, and now we're gonna do the final proof for about an hour and 15 minutes. Just cover it with a tea towel. And afterwards, we're going straight to the oven. We'll see you in a bit. Baking the bread any uh, minute now. We've gotta preheat the oven at 500 degrees. And we also have to have a tray of water underneath the bottom to create some steam and humidity because the baguettes will grow nicely that way. Okay, so after uh, the last proofing, so the doughs have risen for another hour and a half, uh, what I've done is just did a quick water spray uh, on top of each of the doughs, uh, give them a little bit of moisture, and the last uh, step would be to just, with a razor, make some cuts into the bread, into the dough, this way when it grows and, and rises in the oven, it doesn't crack. Okay, now we're ready to go in the oven. All right, here we go. And it's gonna be in here for about 18 minutes. Okay, so after uh, 18 minutes, I pulled it out of the oven. It looks quite nice, actually, like we're in Paris. So don't touch it, you just basically, if you wanna hear hollow, and you just let it rest before we do any cutting. Nice and hollow. They look delish, and uh, let's let it uh, cool down until we dig into it. Okay, so the baguettes have cooled down for a couple hours, and it's time to uh, give it a cut. So you want to hear some hollowness, you know it's ready. Let's see what it looks like. Crunchy. Chewy and soft in the middle. Bon appetit.